Welcome back. Uh, let's talk about another optimization problem. Let's look at number 21, and I'm calling this part one because there, there will be an additional um, video that is answering another question about this problem. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, so let's read through the problem and see what it is we're trying to maximize or minimize in this problem. So it says a boat on the ocean is four miles from the nearest point on a straight shoreline, and that point is six miles from a restaurant on the shore. A woman plans to row a boat straight to a point on the shore and then walk along the shore to the restaurant. Okay, uh, if she walks at three miles an hour and she rows at two miles an hour, then at what point on the shore should she land to minimize the total travel time? Okay. I drew a little picture here. So she's out at this point that's four miles from the shore, and that point on the shore is six miles from the restaurant. So ideally what this lady would like to do is she would like to pick some point on the shore over here, and she's going to row her boat to that point, and then once she gets to that point, she'll walk the rest of the way to the restaurant. Now, there are some extreme cases here. She could just walk straight, I'm sorry, row straight across to this point and then walk all the way to the restaurant, but that might not be the quickest way. Alternatively, she could just row the boat all the way to the restaurant and skip walking altogether, but that might not be the shortest way. Maybe the shortest way is somewhere in between. That's what we're trying to figure out. Where is the shortest path uh, for her if she has these rates for... Uh, rowing and for walking. So what I'm going to do is I need to label some stuff here. And so what I'm going to do is let's call this um, distance right here. It's starting here and going to the place where she's going to get off the boat. I want to call that distance x. All right. Um, then I have another distance here. Uh, and that is from the point where uh, she gets off the boat to the restaurant. And I'm not going to call it Y because I actually know what it is since I already called the distance from here to this point X. Then this must be 6 minus X. All right. Now I've got some things labeled, and I think I can get started on this problem. So the next question that we need to ask now that we have a little bit of a picture set up of this problem is, okay, what is it that I'm trying to make big or small here? Uh, and what I'm really trying to minimize is time, right? I want her to get to the restaurant in the shortest time possible. So what I'm trying to make big or small in this case is time. So what we really need to do now is we need to set up uh, an equation that gives me time in this problem. Okay, how much time does it take her to get from this point to the restaurant? Okay. So let's erase some stuff here. And I'm going to say, well, the first thing she has to do is row the boat. And she's going to take the boat all the way to this point. Well, how far is that? Uh, if I'm trying to figure out how much time it takes, well, the time it takes is she rows at two miles an hour. So it's going to take her two miles an hour across some distance, right? So uh, rate times time, if you remember, rate times time is equal to distance. So if I want to know what time is, then it's going to be my distance divided by my rate. So if I want to know how much time it took to get from this point to this point, then I need to know, well, how far is it to that point? And then divide it by how fast was I actually traveling? Okay, well, how far is it to this point? Well, I don't know exactly, but I can figure it out because this is a nice right triangle. 
with sides 4x and let's just call this y. So I have that, in this case, 4 squared plus x squared is going to be equal to y squared. So if I want to know what y is, y is going to be equal to the square root of 16 plus x squared. Agreed? So the distance that she will have to row is the square root of 16 plus x squared. So that's the distance she'll have to row, the square root of 16 plus x squared, divided by the rate at which she rows. Well, we're told that she rows at 2 miles an hour, so that's divided by 2. Now we need to add on uh, the time that it takes for her to walk the rest of the way in. Well, how far does she have to go? What's the distance that she has to go? Well, the distance remaining is 6 minus x. So the distance remaining is 6 minus x, and that's going to be divided by the rate at which she walks. Well, she walks at 3 miles an hour. So we divide that by 3, and we get a nice equation for the time that it takes to get from the point where she is to the restaurant if she picks some point on the shore to row to. All right. So now that we have time, notice that it's already in terms of one variable, which is nice. So since it's in terms of one variable, what I can do is go ahead and take its derivative, set it equal to 0, solve for x. So let's take a derivative of this guy. So I get d capital T dx is equal to, well, I'm going to have to use the chain rule here. And so I'd get 1 half of 16 plus x squared to the negative 1 half times the derivative of what's inside, which is 2x, all over, we still have this 2 on the bottom, 2, plus the derivative of 6 minus x over 3 is what, negative 1 third? We could probably clean this up a little bit. This is kind of ugly. I can cancel these twos, and what this gives me is, if I rewrite, the twos are gone, so on top I have an x. On bottom, I have a 2 square root of 16 plus x squared, uh, and I have minus 1 third. So this is my derivative. Now I can set this derivative equal to 0 and solve for x. So I move the one, I can set this equal to 0, move the 1 third to the other side, so I get 1 third is equal to x over 2 square root of 16 plus x squared. Cross multiply this, and if I do, I get 2 square roots of 16 plus x squared is equal to 3x. Uh, now divide both sides by 2, and I get that the square root of 16 plus x squared is equal to 3 over 2x. Now I can square both sides of the equation. If I do, I get 16 plus x squared is equal to, I square the other side, and I get 9 over 4 x squared. Okay, uh, now I can subtract x squared from both sides, and I get that 16 is equal to, well, 9 fourths x squared minus 1 x squared is like subtracting 4 fourths x squared, so that would leave me with 5 fourths of an x squared on this side. Multiply both sides by 4 over 5, and I get uh, 64 over 5 is equal to x squared. And finally, we get that x would be equal to the square root of 
64 over 5. Well, the square root of 64 is 8. And uh, on the bottom, I'd have the square root of 5. And that's miles. So where should she go ahead and row to? She should row to a point where x, the distance from this point to this point, is exactly 8 over the square root of 5 miles away from this point over on the shore. And that would create the shortest traveling time.